dimmer. This is a book review, a video review, from the National Writing for Children Center of the children's book, um, Trouble with Treasure. Now, Trouble with Pre Treasure is one book in the Undersea Mystery Club, and the Undersea Mystery Club is what they call one of the epic originals, and that is from Andrews McMeal Publishing. So, this book is... Um, what we call an illustrated chapter book. I wouldn't say it's for the various, uh, very young reader in terms of the beginning, beginning reader, because you'll see a lot of chapter books, even though the print is big here, you'll see a lot of chapter books that are early chapter books that have much shorter sentences, much shorter uh, paragraphs. But this one, uh, it has some pretty long sentences, but it is, illustrated on each page with these colorful illustrations that make it fun to read and yet it's divided into paragraphs a good amount of dialogue which makes it fun for kids to read and it's all about these two characters actually there are three of them because there is um, the mermaid her name is Violet and then Wally the narwhal and then there's a starfish that she wears on her hair uh, he's a pen but he's actually a real starfish so it's spring cleaning day in Aquamarina. That's the underwater city where um, Violet and Wally live. And so everyone's cleaning up, and Violet doesn't like to clean up, but she is. And then um, they're going to go play hide and seek now when they finish. So we just have some things here where she's talking to mom and she's going off. Wally's got to help her before she can finish up. And then she finds a box in a room of all these things that she thinks, I don't want all this stuff. It's old report cards and cards and medals and just all kinds of things from her past. And she wants to get rid of it. But Mom says, why are you getting rid of these things? They'll bring back lots of memories. And Violet says, ugh, I'm too old for this stuff, Mom. So she really doesn't want to keep all these keepsakes. But her mother says, but you might want it someday. History is important, and our past helps us better understand who we are. So then she shows her a baby picture of herself and uh, Wally. But now they go out and explore, and here's the whole underwater city cleaning up. And you notice the nice color palette, the nice um, big print, shorter paragraphs here a little bit. And now they're swimming away. They're playing hide-and-go-seek. And as they hide, not the narwhal, Wally is counting, and Violet goes to hide. See, there's the starfish that she wears in her hair. I think his name is Dusty. And then um, she's got to wait, though, because he doesn't come. So she says, I'm going to look around. Well, as she's waiting for him to come find her, she finds something. And it's hidden in the sand. And it's a shiny box, and she thinks, oh, wow, here's where Wally's been looking for her. And he hears her coming from this underwater cave, and he wonders what's going on. And he figures, he finds out it's her, <clears throat> and she says she's found something, and she thinks it's a treasure chest. So they do find this treasure chest, and you'll see that it has kind of a rusty old lock on it. They go to find someone else to help them undo the lock. And I don't want to give the story away, because it's a really cute story. Um, they do find someone, however, he's not able to do the lock, but they find a creative way to get the lock off, but what they find inside is not the kind of treasure they were expecting, but they later realize why it is treasure and um, why it's just so, should be so valuable, and then they decide to create a treasure chest of their own, sort of like this one. So um, I think kids will like this. This is actually the second book, I think, in the series uh, of Underwater Mystery Club with Violet the Mermaid and Wally the Narwhal. So it also teaches a lot about undersea things. Kids learn what a narwhal is. Um, just learn a lot of little things along the way as they're reading this story and helping uh, Violet and Wally figure out what to do with this treasure, treasure chest. So I think this is another fun epic original from um, Andrew McMill Publisher, and kids will enjoy this Undersea Mystery Club series.